Right, what have we got today? Boosh, it's something new from XTOR, which as you know, if you've watched this channel for a while, quite like XTOR, they're one of the companies who actually listen to me and I don't have all the answers to everything, I'm just a nobody, but it's nice that they actually listen to me and, and the things I tell them when I test things for them, they pass them on to the engineers and I get a reply and I think that, you know, there's companies who don't do that, um, who don't seem to care, which I'm not going to go into their names, but I'm just letting you know that XTOR, I have a little bit of trust in the company. I don't work for them. I've never worked for them. I've never received any payment from them or anything like that, but they did send me this for testing. They, they don't get me, they don't tell me what to edit. They don't tell me what I've got to put in, what I can't put in, none of that. They don't get to see this until everyone else gets to see it. So this is the PB2 SLV2. If you remember, where is it? Where is it? There it is over there. If you remember this one this is the pb2s i love this thing and as you can see look at the look at the surface there this has been banged and bashed around i've taken this camping i've taken it to work i've bashed it i've dropped it i've thrown it in and out of bags at work camping all over the place various different sort of things i've done with it it still works just to prove it there it still works i love this thing so highly rated for the price you're not paying a lot of money i know astrolux do something similar but i don't think it's quite as good as this one and then with this new version they've added a load of new features updated it made it better than this which i already, already liked anyway so that's the old one there so that is the pb2s and if you want to find their review of that it's already on this channel so <clears throat> what's what's the new one like so the pb2 sl v2 Let's have a quick look at the box. I'll do this rapidly and then we'll get it open because this is a bit boring. You want to see what the thing actually looks like. So it's a 2-in-1 power bank charger. So it's a power bank. It charges stuff for you, but it also charges up cells that you put in. So as you can see on this one, I have two 18650 lithium ion flat tops there and it works, it works perfectly. You can use button tops obviously because these are spring loaded here. In the old one and they are the same in the new one and in fact the new one will take a 21700 flat top and button top because it has a spacer in it so two and one and they are saying yeah it's compatible with both it doesn't say that there but it is compatible with a flat top and a button top three hours fast charge it'll do like a two amp no problem low current mode yeah so low current mode is sometimes if you've got like earbuds or something really really small that doesn't take want to take a massive punch of electricity some of them won't charge that's becoming less prevalent now but some will not charge when you use a sort of a high output power bank so you've got to put them in like a trickle charge mode you can do this one it's just a simple double press of the button you know the button on the side so it is also saying max output so 22.5 watts so if you're going to use power delivery to charge this you're going to want to use at least a 12 i mean they say at least a 20 watt you, you know these days you should be 45 to 65 watts on a on a charger i mean mine over there is 100 and i think this one here this is type c this will do there you go 165 so we are really moving on now everything should be type c now and we should be really moving on so let's see what else it says here not a lot blah a bit boring not interested i mean Oh, I've put this back in the box because obviously I have tested it. Um, smart battery, um, smart energy balance, yeah, it does. It charges them both at the same time. It doesn't just charge one, then the other. Some do do that. It's got low voltage battery recovery, which is very, very handy. And it has intelligent three-stage charge. Three-stage charge, I mean, I'll quickly cover it. It's basically a charging methodology where instead of just saying, right, put in as much charge as possible, boom, 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 right, it's full. It will do it in three specific stages i mean i'll go through that in the little manual but that that is what they're referring to there so nothing else on there and here are the bits and pieces that people are probably more interested in so their input so you've got pd there that just stands for power delivery version three it will also accept a quick charge three you've got your five volts three amps or nine volts at two and then your constant current there 4.2 volts two amps times two so you can charge both of those cells at two amps and you can also charge one at two amps so we'll just see where there okay so it's got their usb output so on the a so it has an a and a c there so you've got quick charge three i mean i'll let you read that i'm not going to go through every single one exhaustively you can read that i'm sure i've done this in 4k and your type c there power delivery three or quick charge three uh, boom, 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 boom. okay so there's your other bits i'm not a legacy i'm not going to go over them it gets a little bit boring right this is boring already let's get this open so Right, boom, right, there's a the manual, which I generally don't read, but I might I might show you in this instance, so push, get that in the bin. And then we have this, so we'll have a quick look at that. So we'll pop that there for a second. Okay, right, get rid of that, get rid of that. We don't need that, we don't need that, keep that. That is the cable that they sent, right. Right, enough waffle anyway, let's get on with this. Right, so this is the unit itself. If you're wondering 
what that's about. It's not a children's toy. There is a little spacer in there, which I've I've just put in, and it actually goes in the top there. So that's how it would normally go. But I'll, I'll show you how that works in a moment. So we'll look at the outside first. So we'll pop that like that. So it is magnetic, just like the original. I want to compare the two of them. So let's have a close look at this. So here's the original in the right hand, and here's the V2. You can see from the V2 there. So very, very similar, especially in size. This is still textured. You can hear that? So you can see the display underneath a little bit. You can't so much on that one. And then the top is very, very similar. You have a Type A and a Type C. Input and output. So, okay, fine. Very, very similar. And then you have the little notch there where you can open it up and get into it. And it's exactly the same as this one. The only difference is this one has like a rubberiness. So if I do that, there's almost like a, like a tactile, tacky like rubberiness to that. I'd say a cross between plastic and rubber. I quite like that, whereas this one doesn't have that. I don't know why they've made that choice. Maybe it's a, a, a cost thing, I don't know. And the display as well. So if you look at this one, it's quite bright. So compare that to, I need to put a cell in. It would help if I put a cell in. So let's just put a random cell in here. That'll do. So if you pop the cell in, in fact, hang on, because that's a flat top, silly me, I should have the spacer in, so that's my fault there, right, so let's compare them, so quite bright, now it's slightly less bright on this one, you see, in fact, in fact on camera, that's hard to see, I move them around a little bit, I would say that's hard to, de to detect, but there is a slight difference, it's not massive, but it is slightly less bright than that one, but it's not the end of the world, so let's get that out and sort and explain all the little bits and features, so What's this spacer for? So the spacer is so you can accommodate different cells. So it'll do a 21700. This happens to be a 21700. I'll just show you that there. So Samsung, there you go. And it is a 21700. So that's quite a, a beefy cell. I also have a 21700 with a button top there. So 21700. So there's a, dis there's a difference. Even though there's the same cells, there's a big difference in height there, you see. So that one has protection and it also has type c charging there so and it's a it's a button top so how do you get both in well you would use a spacer to put in the flat top so we'll put that in there so with a spacer not a problem straight in if you didn't want to use the spacer because you had a button top it just goes straight in so watch there just one handed no problem so that goes all the way down it's pretty good and it holds it nice and tightly and it works so pretty good so we'll do both of those, So and it is the same, I don't have one knocking about actually, which is a shame, but I have tested the button tops and it's exactly the same. So on the 18650, here's an 18650, in fact there's a, fact, sorry that's not, a, that's a 21700, it's just a different cell manufacturer though, so I'll just show you, if I can pop that in there, hang on, there you go, so pop that in, so that happens to be a Sofern, so almost, it'll be almost identical in height to this, and again that works no problem. And you would use the spacer for a non-button top. So I have, have a flat top here, there. And it will go, boom, there, no problem. So you've got that, you know, you don't have to worry about, well, I'd, I've only got a flat top or I've only got a button top and all this. It's not a problem. And if you're wondering what this daft ribbon is, it's simply to allow you to take the cells out more easily. So what you do is you would just go like that and they pop out. So that's what that's for. I, so, I sometimes take those out because I don't really have an issue with that, but I haven't on that one and I might leave it on this one. So you've got a lot of features there. Now, boom, look at this. So what's this? Because this is different. So we'll look at the old version. There's the old version, there was nothing. So what on earth is this? Well, if you have a couple of 18650s in the old one, I'll show you how this does happen. If you vigorously shake this, nothing happens. But if you really vigorously, so I'm gonna to have to take it slightly off camera, but I'm not cheating here. Right, if you do it as vigorous as possible, it might. Yes, it has. Right, that has migrated to the left there, you see? Because there's no central divider there, which would prevent that. Now, I had to do that really vigorously. So what that does is that goes in the middle and provides a buffer to stop that happening. And also, if you're using two cells, which are smaller and, you, and there is a, and any sort of buffeting or anything, you can't put it that way, which would stop shake and noise. But if you're going to do anything vigorous, you do have that. And that will go between two 21700s. Uh, 21, so nice feature. Batteries are exactly the same. They're about the same sort of grippiness or magnet, the same level of magnetism. They're absolutely fine. That never came out by accident. And I doubt this one will as well. So let's get some cells in because we need to do some charging here. So I'm not going to use that spacer. I'll just stick a 21700 in there. 
pop that in and I'll show you the basic function because it's quite easy and I have tested this it does work so if we were to pop that in so there's your type A and then we're going to charge in fact let's have a look what can we charge here let's charge this so if I, I actually this is a good one because I can show you low charging so let's say this was some buds or whatever you would charge it you would stick the type C in and then there it's starting to charge so 0 0.3 of an amp out one so there's number one there's number two five volts ish three three hundred amp now now here's the thing so let's say you want to put it in low charge mode double press see the lc now it's chin and have you noticed it says out one out two so both of those go into low charge mode and it will trickle charge from there so it is still charging that but it's going to be a trickle so if you do have a device which insists on a really really low output you're going to have to use that so that is nice and then one press isn't going to turn it off but you just use double press again boom and if you did want to go between the different outputs it's just a single press i haven't got two on here but if i did that's what that would do so pop that out so does type c to type c work yes it does work it does work so i do have here's a cable so let's see i go to the type c and i want to charge this so i'll plug that in boom there so again that is charging so number two now remember it said number one before five volts at about 300 milliamps there so 0 0.3 of an amp now it may be flashing a little bit there see if i can get that at the right angle see it may be flashing a little bit on screen there but in person i can't see that update at all under any circumstances um, but it, i can slight see it's almost a modulating pulse there but i can't see that in person so it's perfectly good on the eyes and then that stays on for about 30 seconds i think and then it will come off so it's dropping down to point two there okay so what about charging up because you've got a cell in there what if you want to go the other way so let's have a try with this this will do let's pop this in so in and out so we'll do this let's see what happens here there so it is now charging so you can see there it says it's going in so it's at five volts at the minute at 1.6 amp and um, it will go up to two so you can see there at the minute that is outputting about eight watts it will go higher than that and bear in mind you can output with both of these at the same time so you can charge two things at the same time i haven't got it to charge with two things at the same time but i don't really think you need that with with what's going on in here there and that just lets you go between the different ones there so you've got in two which is that one remember and then this is number one so there, that's telling you what's happening there. So 1.6 for an amp, 5 volt, brilliant. So it does all of the things that you'd want to do and you've got the ability to use the spacer, which works. So you're not having to stick little daft magnets in and things like that. Because I realize some people do do that. I can't be bothered with all that. It does not charge things like um, your, you know, your double A's and your triple A's. Nickel metal hydride, it's not made for that. It's just made for the two cells that I've shown and mentioned there. So let's see if it will charge something. So I have something with a bit more juice. So here's some DJI batteries here. So let's get them out, get all that rubbish out of the way. Right, so let's see if it'll charge that because that will take quite a bit of juice. So we'll plug that in, plug it in there. And then I should, there you go. So you can see at the minute it is checking and so one amp 1.2 1.4 eventually it will start charging one of these will start flashing 0 0.1 of an amp it's making a decision it's thinking about it it's saying well i've got all these right there it's made a decision right now it's charging that that's not this that's doing that this is making the decision there's an intelligent chip in this so you can see straight off that's banged right up to two amp 2.1 amp so that's as much as you're going to get out of this but that's pretty fast you know over it says over i would guess it is about two amp which is within the specification that they're giving that that reading has just gone slightly over there so it's charging one of those cells there two amps so it does work for charging i've tried it on various items i've never been able to not get it to work so leave that charging okay so let's go over some of the good points and some of the bad points so i'm going to do the bad points first because there's not many so the first one is the display slightly, and I mean, it's very hard to see on camera, it's slightly, did I take those cells out? Yes, I, I shook them around, right? So I'll try and get as close as I can. It's not the best lighting. I should have done it in the dark, really. Can you see any difference? I can in person, that's slightly brighter, which I prefer, but it's not a deal breaker because if I wasn't using this and I wasn't comparing them side by side, I probably wouldn't know and it wouldn't, it wouldn't therefore be an issue. 
Um, I prefer the rubber coating on this, but to be fair, the rubber coating on this is, shows all the bashing about because it kind of changes the texture on it. That might fare better and that might be why they've done it. So although it's a con, it may be a silly con by me and it's probably not necessary to, to mention. Okay, so pros. It'll do your flat tops and your button tops. Three stage charging, which will it'll charge fast and then it'll slow down and all that malarkey. They've been using that, that sort of situation for years. It does have low voltage activation. So if you have a cell which will no longer take a charge from a smart charger, well, some smart chargers, which I should say, that don't have a low activation system, using the low activation on this, it will trickle charge, trickle charge until that battery behaves itself and then it will ch charge up. So you can save some cells, not all cells, some cells that have been allowed to have their voltage drop far too far and they've been damaged long term. So that's a nice feature to have. And it does have that low current mode, you can double press to get that. And it's great, you can have one cell in for output, two cells in for output, it doesn't matter. Pretty good. And it's got all the reverse polarity protections and stuff like that. So I'm very impressed. The up updates are basically they're not really, I was going to say cosmetic, they're not cosmetic, they're, they're, they're small and incremental, but I think they were needed because this was a, an excellent unit and I'm glad they brought out a new one and just brought it more up to date and it's just as efficient and just as good. So I really like it, so I'm going to give it a 9. I really like a lot of the stuff XTAR do, and again I've told you at the start of this, the, they seem to listen. When you tell them I don't like this or I don't like that or why have you done that, they'll go straight to the engineers, well for me anyway. And they'll come back and they'll say, this is why, or that's why, or oh, we've discussed this as a team. I think that's fantastic. There's a, a couple, there's about two other companies I can think of who do that when I give them suggestions. And it's nice that they're listening to me, who, who is a genuine user. I don't just get these and go, ha ha, right, and stick it on a shelf. I do actually go out and use these, so <clears throat> I really appreciate that. Okay, so 9 out of 10, well done, XTAR. I'll try to keep this quick, but it, as usual, it isn't quick, but I did try that. Um, so if you have any comments, stick them down below or any questions, and I'll, I'll do my utmost to answer them. Uh, but well done, next door. So thank you very much. You can get on with your day. Goodbye.